Hello everyone, today you are going to learn the JavaScript message function. The JavaScript message function basically the document type. We can display any type of message using the document dot type in our website or browser, web browser where you want to show that. And then alert message, how to show the alert message, then show the confirm and we will be show the this variable tasking over there and the prompt message. So we are going to using this JavaScript this four type of message function over the document dot type alert confirm and prompt. So we will be use that in practically over there. So let's start this video right now here. Okay, now here you can save open my Visual Code Studio and there you can save added a basic HTML file and we can see the live pair one here. So I need to create a JavaScript file on our JS folder, select that and open this here, this creating file over here. So I'm using that JavaScript mass function file. So I'm going to writing this jmf.js okay let me make it is small caps zmf.js and save this file now hide this left side of window here now go to our index.html file now connect this file over here which is zmf and i'm going to making this this header text this line of two lines of it i'm going to comment it so that we can see the proper skin one there now save this file and you can see the proper a full white skin plain skin over here now just go to our js file now here we're going to providing first of all we're going to making for the document dot type function how it basically work so you have to writing that the document dot write so this is basically instead of when you are using some console log as we have already explained that console log in previous videos so i'm going to using the console log this is we when you are going to provide the console log then you have to just go to inspection mode and you just need to see the below on this console section over the javascript console but without console you can show the display directly text that with the printing in your index pages over here directly in your HTML variable so here I'm writing here something so writing code prime and save this file now you can see the text is displayed over here so I can make it a little bit of zoom so that you can easily watch them so there you can see and I also make one or JavaScript file here so this now you can see properly all of this part over here whatever we are writing so this is basically for the document writing which is the document printing over here so let me make a comment this is document the example and let me make it comment also over there so that it will be not get any confused over there so now we're going to do that the next one that is for the alert example which is alert example over here now taking the function the keyword name is alert and which is alert and take a function over here now write anything whatever you are going to write the word there so then you can write it anything over there so i'm writing here this uh i'm writing this do you like websites okay or websites and take a comma over question mark over here now save this file now you can see here it was showing a message one there and this is it was asking whenever we visit websites then it was asking for do you like this website if you like then click on the ok button but there is complete plan if you reload it it was still the same but what is the main over there when we are going to printing this clicking this but there is no function is working there indifferently in the after this completed this alert so we can do a process over here yeah, and this this variable we're going to take a where a is equal to this alert message now we're going to storing this variable when we have completed this variable this alert message then it will be show a message over there so i'm going to write in this document dot write okay document dot write and we will be used here there's a message over here thanks that's it and terminate this line over also and there also over here now save this file now click on the ok button and as you can see here it was showing a display thanks this is basically you can use the basics there is your alert function so this is example of this alert it is also completed now comment this line up here now we are going to do for this confirm example over there so it is confirm example now the confirm example qr also the same as a confirm and then take here this function over here now writing here the same so i'm writing the same question over here do you like our websites the same question i'm writing over here 
now save this file it was asking here but when you're using that a only this this option for the alert message it was showing here only one button which is okay but when you're using here the confirm it was showing the two button which is okay and cancel so if you do okay it is not displaying over here so let me show you that this uncomment of this or alert message so that you can see it was showing that one button or more so let me first of all comment this or confirm and uncomment it now save this file now you can see here whenever we are using that alert message it was asking only one button which is okay now let's hide it and now this uncomment of a confirm so when we are using this confirm save this okay now let's press here and just reload this file then you can see this will like this website it was asking for two file if you like then press ok or if you not then press cancel if you do that ok or cancel there we can see there is nothing was showing on display but we can see on the console it was showing some value printing over here okay there it was still nothing so we can take a variable using there so i'm taking the same way the var okay i'm taking the var let's take a different variable var c is equal to b is equal to confirm this so this is we have taken now we are going to providing here this uh, document now in terminate this line and i'm providing here the document dot right and the masses over here thanks thanks okay i'm writing something more yes thank you okay that's it now press ok button it was showing the thank you but when reloaded and press cancel it was showing also the thank you the same message but we want to show the display this another different message so now we can use it using the if else condition now let me cut this uh, document writing here so now let's open the if and enter the function over here we need to provide the variable which is b now take the function over here and after this function we're going to provide in this else function also over there so the else function also the using curly braces over here for this one it is we are pressing that ok button for that we are going to providing a message that is thank you and we are going to for the else option when we click the cancel it will be show something else so it is sorry to hear that now save this file and here you can see it was showing the do you like this website press ok it was showing the thank you now reload and press cancel it was showing the sorry to hear that this is basically work for this uh, confirm method over there so now let me make the comment of this uh, confirm example also over there now we're going to do the next example which is prompt so using that prompt example okay prompt example now this is also the same way taking that so this is prompt basically for input field when you're going to take ask some data from your user when they visit your website so this is basically for that way so prompt and writing here ports your name so i'm writing this message on the prompt box now save this file you can see it was here showing an input field what is your name and you can write here the name i'm writing this good prime and press ok button there you can see it was showing is nothing here so you can display something over here now using that var using variable i'm taking the c over here and take the c is var so what whatever we like in our prompt field it will be stored in our c variable which is our c value it will be stored over there all that over there now we're going to take this condition the same which is if and function we will be take this c variable now take the open curly braces and the else function also over there else so we're going to providing here this document dot i'm just copying from this upper line from there or when you are providing your name so i'm going to providing here something so i'm going to writing it welcome welcome okay that's it now take a space and using that arithmetic operator which is plus and the variable which is c and then we're going to writing for this the same which is sorry to hear that i'm writing this for the same one you who don't want to provide your name and then sorry to hear that and then we're going to pass addition the c which is variable that which will be write it over there then it will be 
display this whole things over there now save this file now here if you provide the name I'm providing the name is code prime and press ok button you can see it will display that welcome code prime but here you can see this text is getting this as a step but there is no space so you can add a space over here this is welcome and take a space plus adding over here now take a string and take a space inside of this string now save this file and now let's type the name over here okay i have write it over there so let me remove it now write the name over here code prime and save this file now you can see there we have a space over there so this is when you are providing your name but when you don't want to provide your name so here no i am writing here i don't want to provide my name so for that case you will be need to click on the cancel button and it was showing that sorry to hear that it was displaying that null over here okay that's the reason of showing that null over here that means when you are going to cancel it so that means you haven't permission to write on this input field so if you click on the cancel so then it will be provide the null for the value because you haven't provided any value the c value this variable will be show the value when you have provided something information in your input box but when you are using choosing the cancel method then you are not permission permitted to write anything on this input field so we can simply remove it from here and we just providing here this string text play here now save it and do the cancel over here okay now save this file and writing the cancel and it was showing that sorry to hear that this is the message over here so this is with this video we have completed totally that this document dot type message and alert message confirm message and the prompt message and this is the completed this tutorial how it's usually work and this how to display everything over there so i have completed this all over here and i will provide also the source code into my website you can also find the link into my video description and if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and thanks for watching this video.